Hey, it's Sue here from the Unicorn Advisory, your trusted Kajabi expert. Today I have a tutorial on Kajabi's sales tax for you so that you can see tax displayed in the tax areas that you want and not have it displayed in the areas where you are not collecting tax. Now, in order to collect tax and to be able to have the tax showing up on your checkouts, you need two things set up. Firstly, you need Kajabi payments to be set up so that you can then set up the tax area. So you need to set it up in your Kajabi settings first. Luckily, it's really, really simple. So once you've got Kajabi payments set up, you just have to go through and obviously go and read the terms and conditions before you check that. Um, and then you'll need to go and choose a tax code. Now, luckily you're able to adjust this afterwards. So it's just setting what it is going to default to. So don't stress about getting this perfectly right. For most people, an e-service, if you're selling digital courses or any kind of digital products that are not an e-book, it will be under an e-service. And you can uh, choose whether it is a good or service. So we are going to have this as a service because all of our digital products do come with additional ability to, to ask help and get questions and sort of have that component as part of the course. So we're going to leave that there. And it is going to pull the information about your site, your name, your business name from your Kajabi settings. So make sure that that's right before you come in here. So we're going to go and skip through and add the tax jurisdiction. So you will need to go through with this. This is in my test accounts. So I've already got this set up in my main account and add the jurisdiction that you are um, registered for tax. So for us, this would be in Australia. We'd then go and add our ABN number and when that was set up. Um, so you'll need to have that first and then you can come and um, set that up and it will be added to the invoices and everything that is going out. So we're going to set this up later. If you are registered for multiple tax jurisdictions, um, you will be able to add each of those one by one in there. So we are going to go and set this up later. So that's the first part. You need to actually um, set up the tax. The next is actually going into the offer itself and adding the tax to the offer. So again, you can do this offer by offer and you will need to make sure that you have got Kajabi payments selected as the payment provider so that you can collect sales tax. So it is going to default to what you have chosen, e-service and service, and then you will have to collect sales tax and you can choose to include tax in the office price or not have that checked and it will be added on. So that is optional depending on what you would uh, like to set your pricing at. And then when you are in the offer, this is where it will come up. So because we have set the address for this testing email as Australia, we can see it coming up. But if we change it to United Kingdom or anywhere else, that is going to go away. So the tax is not going to be charged. So it's based on the address that your customer will add in. So if we go and choose anywhere else, so we're going to choose the United States, it's not going to be added. And if we go back to Australia, then it will be including and showing that price with the GST included. Now, if we go and do not include the tax in the office price and we save it, it is then going to add the tax on only for the people in that jurisdiction where you are uh, registered. So I'm just going to change this here because this email is already attached. I'm making it as if I was a brand new client. And again, the United States is not showing up. Australia, once we um, add and change that to Australia, it's actually going to add the GST on top. Uh, so you can choose how you would like that to be set up. So whether it is adding the tax or whether it is just showing the pricing as inclusive of tax just in those areas where you are collecting tax. So good to know that you've got options, but the first thing is to go and set your tax up um, in your settings and then go into your individual offers and then choose how you would like to set that up and then making sure that the tax code is relevant, whether it is consulting, a SaaS is probably going to, to not be relevant in Kajabi because you're not selling software itself, standard, etc. So you can choose what you want. But for the most part, e-service and then a service and or a good, depending on whether there is any kind of personal contact involved in that offer. And then it will from then on collect that tax for you and you will be able to get reports on any tax and what is due. And it's only going to be showing up depending on your customer. So that is your Kajabi tax setup.